Anyway, so I went up to the cabin, and the captain's there. This captain, I landed in Air Force One, had to turn off all the lights. After 20 years, you still couldn't have the lights of a plane on. We landed on the runway. Maybe you heard the story. I told it a couple of times. We landed on the runway, sir. They said, sir, we're getting ready to land. We're about an hour out. Uh, could you please have all the lights turned off in your cabin? I said, why? Because we don't want anybody to see us. So we spend a trillion dollars, and we have to turn the lights off because we're going to be shot down. <laughs> Think of it, how crazy. I said, can you imagine? I'm spending, and I'm, they're pulling down the shades, they're turning off. Not only pulling down the shades, pulling down the shades. And so the plane is totally dark inside, no lights on the wings, nothing, everything's out. And they're flying, and so what I did is I went up and I said, uh, I want to see the captain. I want to fly in with him because I love doing that. I love this great equipment. Although the plane's 32 years old, I ordered new ones and I saved $1.7 billion from what Obama was willing to pay. I have to tell you, black president, but I got $1.7 billion less. <laughs> Would you rather have the black president or the white president who got 1.7 billion off the price? I think they want the white guy right now. He got 1.7 billion off the price. I said, no, no, no. I said, we're not doing it. No, no, no. I kept saying no to Boeing and the price kept coming down for the exact same plane. Anyway, so I went up to the cabin and the captain said, this captain, Better looking than Tom Cruise. I was going to say and taller, but I don't want to say that because I got myself in trouble. A perfect looking, like a male model, everything perfect. You know, they put the best people flying the president, which probably makes sense, the helicopters and the planes. Yes, sir, it's a great honor to have you in the cabin with us, sir. They had four guys that looked like the most handsome human beings I've ever seen. He said, sir, we'll be landing in 20 minutes, sir. And I, I don't know if anybody has ever been in a cabin of a very sophisticated commercial plane, one of the great planes, and uh, you, it's all computer uh, operated, the sounds and everything. They have a voice. And when you get 100 feet or 1,000 feet, it says 1,000. And it's a computer voice, but it's, you wish you could speak that way. So it goes <laughs> 1,000. And I'm having a problem because I don't see any lights, and he's telling me we're about ready to land, and I'm looking out for And I've, see, I've been in a lot of planes. I love, you know, the whole feel of sitting up front. It's like you're in a bird, and I'm watching. And I have these guys there. They're perfect. They're cool as cucumbers. The two captains. And I've never seen so many people in a plane. There are five telephone operators. They say, how many calls can I make? You know, but they have guys. <laughs> if I want to call China, sir, I take care of China. I take care of it, it just, This is... Uh, Serious. This is like the real deal. So anyway, so I'm walking up. I say, Captain, are we okay? Uh, <clears throat> talk about choking. I'm going, <clears throat> are we okay, Captain? Is everything all right? <clears throat> I don't see any lights up there, Captain. Uh, he goes, sir, we're fine, sir. And then you hear 1,000. That means we're 1,000 feet over there. That's not much. That's like, that's like a building. And this plane's very big. And there is absolutely nothing on the ground, and there's nothing in the plane. It's totally dark, other than a little tiny light up front so they can see a little bit. And I said, uh, Captain, okay, you sure everything's okay? Would you like to go back? Let's go back to America. He said, forget, I want to go to Iraq to find out why the hell we couldn't beat ISIS. And I did this. So we left at 3 o'clock in the morning from the White House. Everything was very top secret. Nobody knew I was going. It was a big surprise when I ended up there. In fact, they said they think Trump's on vacation. No, that's Biden that's on vacation all the time. <laughs> I think I took more vacations than any human being in history, I think. He set the record in history, not just for a president. He's on vacation right now. Whenever there's a problem, he's in one of his many homes. I figure that one out. He made 179000 was his top salary. He's got homes all over the place. So we're in there. It says 1900 800, 700, 600. That means 600 feet. That's very close to Earth. <laughs> and underneath is desert. Not a light. 500. Captain, are we okay? Is everything... You know, <laughs> is everything okay, Captain? Yes, sir. No problem, sir. We'll be landing in 30 seconds, sir. 400. 300, 200. Ay, ay, ay. Oh. So now we're like 200 feet off the ground. This massive airplane, the wheels are down. 100. 
There's not a light in the runway. You know the way runways are all lit up, right? We know it. They're all lit up like, like flash bulbs. There's not a light in the runway. And then boom, boom. We land so beautifully, like perfect. And I said to the captain, thank you, captain. I'm walking out of there. Man. <laughs> then I went. I said, great job, captain. Yes, sir. That was a great honor to have you, sir. Great honor, sir. And I'm walking out like, get me the hell out of here. <laughs> so this is all fact. So now I'm in Iraq, and I'm, uh, I'm going down, and I see my people, and I say, let me ask you a question. Does the President of the United States have the right to give himself the Congressional Medal of Honor? Because, <laughs> because I feel I was extremely brave in sitting in that cabinet. They said, sir, we don't think that's a good idea. I said, okay. See, now I'll show you how dishonest the press is. That's press back there. Here's the headline tomorrow. Donald Trump wanted to give himself the congressional... Anyway, so I went up to the cabin, and the captain's there. This captain power out. Uh, could you please have all the lights turned off in your cabin? I said, why? It was from what Obama was willing to pay, I have to tell you. Black president, but I got one. Better looking than Tom Cruise. I was going to say in taller, but I don't want to say that because I got myself in trouble. A perfect looking, like a male model. And we have to turn the lights off because we're going to be shot down. <laughs> Think of it, how crazy. I said, can you imagine? I'm spending, and I'm, they're pulling down the shades, they're turning off. Not lights of a plane on. We landed on the runway. Maybe you heard the story, I told it a couple of times, equipment. Although the plane's 32 years old, I ordered new ones and I saved $1.7 billion. $1.7 billion less. <laughs> Would you rather have the black president? Only pulling down the shades, pulling down the shades. And so the plane is totally dark inside, no lights on the wing. He said, uh, I want to see the captain. I want to fly in with him because I love doing that. I love this.